Uh, the Governor Foundation, thank you all for coming to uh, this reception uh, and the book presentation. I'm uh, very pleased to have this exhibition with uh, the artist of Phil. Ilaida Iturade from the Cuban Cultural Center, she's the vice president, and uh, Jorge Moya, and the from uh, Cuban Art, uh, Art New York, and the editors of the book. And uh, without further ado, I'll, I'll pass the word to Jorge Moya, he's going to uh, speak about the book. Thank you. Yes, on behalf of the Cuban Cultural Center of New York, I would like to welcome you to this wonderful reception that we're co-sponsoring with the Gabarón Foundation. We would like to thank, especially Juan Gabarón, for continuing to support top caliber art, as is evidenced by this exhibit. And as you know, we're here to uh, promote the wonderful art history of Ophelia Echevarria uh, and the launching of the book on his multifaceted talent. Those of you who do not know the Human Cultural Center of New York and who are not members, I urge you to take a brochure home and if you like what you see, I hope to see you in our future events. And now without further ado, Jorge Moya, my friend and top-notch art curator. Yeah. <laughs> I was really surprised that I, that I didn't get a big round of applause when they mentioned my name. <laughs> I shouldn't talk about anything, I'm very upset. <laughs> Um, it, it wasn't uh, very long ago I was in Miami filming an interview, a, a very long interview a, 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 um, in the Miami heat of the summer uh, with um, a great Cuban artist, uh, Ruben Torres Yorca. And after uh, filming him and talking to him uh, during a grueling long in, 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 in afternoon, um, talking about his upbringing, his career, his work, everything. He said, Moya, I think that um, it's really important not to know the artist in order to appreciate their work. And I was very confused by the statement, but then I started to think about it. You know, in, in the case of Ophel, it's, it's somewhat true, but then again, it's not. You know? and, and I think what he meant is uh, once you meet the artist, and know the artist, uh, you begin to, to try to understand the, uh, the dialogue between the artist and the work, rather than your own dialogue with the work. So if you don't know the artist and you don't you see the, the work, then it's for up to you to create a relationship with the, uh, with the work. Once you have a relationship with the artist, that's almost uh, impossible. In the case of Ophelia, he happens to be a great friend and a hell of a human being, so it's hard not to want to meet him. But um, uh, I think also, uh, like the accomplishment of, of, of any great artist, and I think the most important accomplishment, perhaps the greatest accomplishment, is that his art speaks for itself. Uh, that has a language, a emotional language, a visual language, a, a depth to it, um, that once you become familiar with it, um, it's hard to see the world without its influence. Um, I happen to have a piece of a field on, in, in the entrance to my office, so every day uh, I don't have to think of a field, but I have to think of his work, and um, which which is a very pleasant experience. And and you know what really is is unique is that he has been able to develop this language that once you become familiar with, you'll ne never see the world the same way. Um, I've been to uh, business meetings, uh, gatherings in different cities uh, where there's crowds around uh, Wall Street, uh, downtown Chicago, uh, some areas of Miami, um, and, and I find myself trying to look at crowds and try to, to um, look at uh, anonymous crowds through the eyes of a field, through the eyes of his work, only because I've been exposed so much to, to, to his work. And um, you, you try to, to see these situations in these uh, moments in time 
uh, and, and they mean something completely different. And if it wasn't for his language, if it wasn't for his uh, creativity, I would have never been able to perhaps see those moments in, 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 in that way. I would have seen it in another way. So what I'm trying to, to, to say is, is that perhaps his greatest uh, accomplishment is to, to have been able to create a, a, an emotional language, a, a uh, visual language, a uh, way of seeing uh, uh, art and the world uh, that is willing to share with us. And that in, by becoming acquainted with his art, we will begin to enrich ourselves in the way that we see uh, the, the world. Um, I've known of him for many years, and it's hard to believe that um, you know, back in the 80s, he was uh, one of the founders of perhaps one of the uh, most uh, influential uh, uh, young Cuban art movement uh, uh, of the times. Uh, perhaps after Volumen Uno, that it was uh, so much talked about, uh, they were perhaps even more uh, defined, and, and, and uh, it was uh, Arte Calle, so the name implies uh, their actions, and it was uh, a very sensitive sensitive time, and perhaps the first time that artists took onto the streets uh, to speak about social issues in Cuba, and, and to demand certain clarity and answers from, uh, from the government. Um, obviously, you know, it was very well documented because it was a time when things began to be filmed and everybody had a camera and so there, it, there, there's a lot uh, that you can see and, and go back and see uh, Ophelia in his younger days. And um, it's incredible that he hasn't given up on, on that surge, that he hasn't given up in that quest to, to really question uh, uh, these people, these crowds that he paints that almost look like are human beings with no purpose. But when you look at his work, you, you think that you know where they're going. They seem to have a purpose in life. They seem to have also uh, a quest and they, you know they're going somewhere, but you really never get to know them or know where they're going. And, 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 and if you see his complexity, now that he's working in a medium like uh, uh, film and videos, and uh, you, you can tell that there is that the language is still the same. Whether you look at a video, whether you look at a painting, whether you look at a drawing, uh, it, it, there is a, a, a driving idea that is strong enough to to overpower the medium. Uh, so it's it's it, it, and if you see his trajectory and his work from from then. You can tell that it was the beginning of a questioning and the beginning of a, of a quest, and now you can see it mature and you can see it become um, uh, elegant, <coughs> and, and powerful, and, 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 and uh, influential. So uh, this is a celebration not only of, of, of a field, this is a celebration also of his quest and his work and his uh, uh, dedication to, to, to this quest. And, and also, you know, to this wonderful Julie and Lisa that, you know, have made it permanent by publishing this book. Um, uh, without them, we will probably not have access to see all, all of the artwork. So if you look at the book, you will see that you can really see what I'm talking about uh, uh, exemplified in the book. So I hope that you buy it and you enjoy it uh, for a long, a long time to come. So, you know, thank you. Thank you, Juan, for your hospitality and for being such a uh, wonderful supporter of, of the arts and making our city, uh, enriching our, our city and our culture. And thank you to the uh, uh, Cuban Cultural Center for support and, and dedication. And thank you to Ophir for his work and for inviting us here tonight to uh, enjoy this gathering among friends. a lot of people really uh, that really are helping me, supporting me, um, especially the Cuban Cultural Center of New York, 
uh, Cuba and New York, Juan Gavarron here, which has been a great, a great friend, a great partner, uh, you know, to, to make this this exhibition what, what, what it is right now. And, but especially, again, I have to thank my beautiful friends here, um, Julie and Lisa Nombro uh, from Boston, who were, I, we, were meet, we were met just um, in an exhibition that I did in, at the University of Rhode Island two years ago, and they were so, uh, I don't know, interested in, in, in what I was doing, and we did the book, so it's, uh, they did this book, which is uh, it's, it's wonderful, it's, it's, it's a piece of art, I think. So, um, thank you. Thank you.